Menehune. In Hawaiian mythology, the Menehune are a race of pygmy people. It is said they live in the deep forests and hide valleys of the Hawaiian Islands. Their favorite foods are said to be bananas and fish. A Menehune stands more than two to three feet tall. In legends, it is said that the Menehune built temples, payout, fish ponds, roads, canoes, and houses. Some of these structures still exist, and the craftsmanship is evident. They are said to have lived in Hawaii before settlers arrived from Polynesia many centuries ago. The Menehune have been known to use magic arrows to pierce the hearts of angry people, igniting feelings of love instead. They also enjoyed cliff diving, and according to local lore, they were smart, extremely strong, and excellent craftsmen. They were rarely seen by human eyes, and they are credited with mighty feats of engineering and overnight construction. These industrious master builders used their great strength to build temples, heiau, fish ponds, roads, canoes, and houses. One such structure they are believed to have built is Kikiola, also known as the Menehune Ditch, a historic irrigation ditch that funnels water from the Waimea River on Kauai. Another one of their amazing feats is the legendary overnight creation of the Alagoko fish pond on Kauai, which archaeologists estimate to be around 1,000 years old. It is said that they built the Alagoko fish pond for a princess and her brother. The shy but strong group lined up in a double row, which stretched 25 miles, 40 kilometers, to the distant Makoeli. The workers passed stones hand to hand to build the pond. They worked at night so as not to be seen by others, cutting, transporting, and fitting stones for their projects in a long bucket brigade. If they were discovered, their work would have been abandoned. The Menehune were promised no one would watch them at work, which was carried out after dark. However, one night, the royal siblings snuck up and watched the thousands of Menehune at work, only to fall asleep. At sunrise, the Menehune discovered them and turned them into twin stone pillars that can be seen today in the mountains above the fish pond. Interrupted by the sun, the Menehune left two gaps in the fish pond wall. Many generations later, Chinese settlers filled the gaps to raise mullet, but the stonework that closed the gap was far inferior to that of the mystical Menehune. Another description that has been passed down in local folklore is of the three Menehune of Ainaho. Ainaho is a forest on the north side of Halakala Crater on Maui. The three Menehune were called Halulu, Malawa, and Elu. All the other Menehune living in Hawaii knew them well because they possessed very unusual powers. Halulu means to tremble, and it seemed like this little man was always cold, but his magic gift was that whenever he started shaking, he would become invisible and could travel anywhere without being detected. Elu in Hawaiian means quick and nimble, and whenever Elu moved, he was so quick that he disappeared and no one could follow him. Malawa's name means lazy, but what most people didn't know was that whenever he appeared to be sleeping or lazy, his magical self became imperceptible and he would go around the island and do good deeds. Some early scholars theorized that there was the first settlement in Hawaii by settlers from the Marquesas Islands and a second, from Tahiti. The Tahitian settlers oppressed the commoners, the Manahune in the Tahitian language, who fled to the mountains and were called Menehune. Proponents of this theory point to an 1820 census of Kauai by Kanyo Lee, the ruling Aliai Amoku of the island, which listed 65 people as Menehune. Folklorist Catherine Luomala believes that the legends of the Menehune are post-European contact mythology created by the adaptation of the term Manahune which by the time of the settling of the Hawaiian Islands had acquired a meaning of lowly people or low social status and not diminutive in stature, to European legends of brownies. Many Hune are not mentioned in pre-contact mythology, the legendary overnight creation of the Alagoko fish pond, for example, finds its equivalent in the legend about the creation of a corresponding structure on Oahu, which was supposedly indeed completed in a single day, not by many Hune but, as a show of power, by a local ally who demanded every one of his subjects to appear at the construction site and assist in building. They were most likely the inspiration for the tiki demons in the film Aloha Scooby-Doo. 
The many who knew were cited according to the documentary series Finding Bigfoot, episode Hawaii's Little Foot, 